The Night Journey Al-Isra wal Maraj. On a very special night, a long, long time ago, in a city called Mecca, lived our Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. During this night, Angel Jibreel, alayhi salam, came to him. With Jibreel came a very special animal, one of the animals of heaven that cannot be found anywhere on earth. This animal is white. It's smaller than a mule, but bigger than a donkey. It is called al Burak. The Prophet, peace be upon him, got on al Burak and rode him. It took him to Masjid al-Aqsa, a very special mosque that still exists till today. But this Burak wasn't like any other animal. Every stride taken, he would travel as far as the eye could see. He was extremely fast. When Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, arrived at Masjid al-Aqsa, he prayed in the mosque. Then Jibreel alayhi salam and the Prophet, peace be upon him, together ascended to this level of heaven. Jibreel alayhi salam asked for the gate to be opened. Jibreel alayhi salam informed the gatekeeper that he had the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him with him and they were let in. When they entered, Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him saw Prophet Adam alayhi salam. Jibreel said to him, this is your father, Adam. Give him salams. So the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, gave salams, and Prophet Adam returned his salams, and also said, You are welcome, O pious son and pious Prophet. Then Jibreel, alayhi salam, and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, went up to the next level of heaven. Here Jibreel again asked for the gate to be opened. When Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him entered, he saw, he saw Prophet Yahya and Prophet Isa, John and Jesus. And again, it's a changed salams. The same process happened whereby Muhammad gave salams to different prophets on each level of heaven. After exchanging salams with each prophet in different levels, finally they reached the seventh level of heaven, which was the highest level of Jannah. The most wonderful sight was there. Beautiful, very beautiful scenes. There they met Prophet Abraham. And they also exchanged salams. And after that, they saw the huge and special lot tree. Then he was shown Baitul Mamur, the sacred house where 70,000 angels are always giving praises to Allah. On the seventh level of heaven, Salah, prayer, was revealed to our Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told Muhammad, peace be upon him, that Muslims should pray 50 times a day. When Prophet Muhammad returned down the sixth heaven, Musa alayhi salam, which is Moses, asked Muhammad peace be upon him what he had been ordered to do. Muhammad peace be upon him told him of Allah's request that 50 prayers be offered a day.
Musa alayhi salam told Muhammad peace be upon him that this is too much and too difficult to get the Muslims to do and instructed him to turn to Allah to reduce the number of prayers as it would be too hard for the Muslims. So Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him went back and Allah reduced the number of prayers to 40. When he came back to Musa, he said the same thing again, that 40 prayers were still too many. So Muhammad, peace be upon him, went back up again and again, and Allah dropped the number of prayers to 30, then 20, then 10 then to five daily prayers. Musa alayhi salam, however, still believed five was too many. But Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, didn't go back. He said, I have requested so much from my Lord. I feel ashamed. I'm satisfied now and submit to Allah's order. As we have learned, this is very merciful from Allah. He was very generous and giving. He gave mankind another present. He made each of the five prayers equivalent to ten. So when we pray five times a day, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward us as if we have prayed fifty. Subhanallah. We can also say that Prophet Muhammad loved his Ummah, all the Muslims, so much that he went back not once, not twice, not three times, but four times to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, though he felt ashamed.